I am utterly annoyed with the complex I live in right now. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. I know the intro was extremely random, but this is a discussion and rant video and this is the rant part of it. Rant side of it, I should say. So the room that I'm in right now is another apartment bedroom in the same apartment complex that I have been living in for the past four years ish at this point of this video I've pretty much finalized my decision either I'm going to leave the complex overall or at least change the um, once the, my contract's over it's going to be considered a full private which is basically a shared room but for one individual as long as the money's paid, you can have this contract as frequently as you want. And, quite frankly, with what's going on right now in the world, it's kind of needed. But that's kind of beside the point. I just moved into this room, and I was told by the management of this particular place, you know, that no one else was looking. Um, of course, without notice, at all, I was told that someone that someone was going to move into the room but declined because it wasn't in good condition. If I were to show the room, the only things on the floor are shoes lined up pretty neatly, a laundry bag, and you know, furniture. Like the desk I'm using for this, um, this here what's obviously behind me and what's just right here. Beds are side by side right now because I haven't had the time to properly organize anything. I kind of would like to keep it this way, but until I was, I actually would have like a full private, it wouldn't really make much sense. That's not what nags at me though. What nags at me is that the management of this place lied. And deceived. Originally when I moved here, they said that there were no applications at all into being in a shared room. This one. And out of the blue, they say there was, but that would have been believable if it wasn't for the rest of the stuff they said. So, like a lot of complexes, like this one, you know, you're required to have a mattress pad on a bed. Gee, I wonder why. They said I didn't. They also said I didn't have sheets on the bed. What dumbass would not have sheets on their bed? That's what I want to know. What freaking dummy would be stupid enough to not have sheets on their bed? I'll say this much. Not me. Because immediately once I read that, I'm like, yeah, you guys are lying to me. You're trying to pull money out of my wallet which they are. This is kind of what's nagging. That's what's nagging at me, is I know for a fact that these guys are lying to me. And what emphasizes on this, at around two hours, like, they were consistently emailing me back and forth on this. And every, like, 15 minutes. And I send them an email, giving them proof that I know they're lying, and they go utterly silent. I don't think much else to, needs to be said. Now, I live in the state of Utah. Specifically, the, for those who see this outside of the United States, United States of America, Utah, Orem is the city. And this particular complex has recently had management that has just been going downhill. A lot. A lot. They've been lying, and I'm not the only one. I can concur that about 50% of this comp the residents in this complex want to leave the complex because of the management. A lot of the residents themselves are actually really good people. 
I enjoy the company of a lot of them. One of my roommates who lives across from me is actually a really cool guy, and I really like hanging out with him when I get the chance to. But the management who's supposed to be running the place properly has just been lying to a lot of us recently. Now, I'm not going to name who the management is. Again, I'm not naming the direct complex I live in. And I'm not going to give, like, witness names. But I can guarantee this. If the people who own the place recognize the place and they're like, Oh, okay. They're going to be pissed off. Not at me, but at the people who are supposed to be running this place properly. The threat that bothered me the most about this was they threatened to find me for stuff that didn't make sense. The mattress pad, for example. They threatened to find me for not having a mattress pad. I get home from work, because they're emailing me this about this while I'm on the clock at work, and I have to, like... Ugh, I have to wait till my break to be able to message back and forth. And... They threaten to find me for not having a mattress pad or sheets. I get home and I notice, the first thing I notice is I have both of those. It's freaking annoying. Actually, it pissed me off and I ranted to myself about this for an hour. And I'm still doing it now. Except before... And I do this when I rant about some things when it comes to business. In my mind, I threaten to sue people. Do I actually do it? Not yet. But this kind of stuff is not... It's illegal where I am. It is very illegal. And it's uncalled for. I don't know. This is kind of a mix of about me and discussion and rant, but I think it falls more under discussion and rants just because of the rant aspect of it. I guess I'll keep you guys posted if you want, if you guys want me to, on how things are going. I can guarantee this, the likelihood of me keeping just a shared contract is zero, especially here. I'll either end up doing a full private, stay in the room, or I'm leaving. The more likely one, if I can find a better place, is me leaving. Guarantee on that. <sighs> but again, if you guys want, I'll keep you posted. If you guys want to check out more discussion rants, or videos that are more about me, a lot of these other videos are way more lighthearted than this. Uh, click the links on the sides of my head. Uh, if you want to check out any other content that I've done that's either these or if you really like this kind of stuff, uh, first of all, make sure to push the like button in so far. You can't see it anymore. I originally wasn't going to do that, but screw it. Um, if you really like this kind of life stuff, consider subscribing to the channel, because now I'm doing one of these every single day, alongside a gaming video uh, that's more comedic than serious. Either way, for right now, I've got to clear my head of all this bull crap. I'm going to head off, but I hope to see you guys in another video that's hopefully a bit more lighthearted. Bye for now.